we all may be familiar with some of the space races from the past and the present. For instance, the space race between the United States and the USSR to be the first countries to put a man in space, and then finally to put a man on the moon. But other space races are important too, like for instance the space race between SpaceX and United Launch Alliance to be the first commercial company to put astronauts onto the International Space Station. And then finally, most recently, the space race between Virgin Galactic and Blue Origin to be the first companies to put paying commercial tourists into space. However, there's a slightly more obscure space race that's currently ongoing, and that's in the world of amateur rocketry. For the past 20 years, student groups and amateur rocketry enthusiasts have been fighting to one-up each other on their way to the Kármán line. And this is the commonly accepted boundary between Earth's atmosphere and space. It's at about 100 kilometers. So let's delve into this space race in the world of amateur rocketry and see who the major players are and where this race is going in the future. We begin our journey in the European community with a student group called DARE, the Delft Aerospace Rocket Engineers. This group comes from Delft University and they've been around for about 20 years. Their first project was Stratos-1, which was a rocket capable of breaking 10 kilometers. In fact, in 2009 when they launched, they were able to reach an altitude of 12.3 kilometers. This was the first uh, European student rocket which was able to break the 10 kilometer barrier and basically initiated the high performance space race in Europe. A couple years later, in 2016, Delft was able to follow up that design with their Stratos 2. This rocket was able to reach an altitude of 21 kilometers, breaking their old record and resetting it for the European community. It was only one year later that a group called High End, which came out of Stuttgart, was able to break this barrier with their Heroes 3 design. This rocket, which was launched in Sweden, was able to reach an altitude of 31 kilometers. One interesting thing about all these rockets is that they are utilizing a hybrid design. This means that they have a solid fuel and a liquid oxidizer. This has a unique safety feature in that it is impossible for the fuel to just spontaneously combust. This is something that would, could be a possibility with a solid design because the fuel and the oxidizer are compacted into one solid material. If the temperature were to become too high, that could essentially become a bomb. However, in the hybrid design, this is not possible as the oxidizer and the fuel are separated and not in contact with each other until the rocket is in flight. Just one year later, DARE was not satisfied with having their record broken and followed up the high-end performance with their Stratos 3 design. This rocket was intended to reach an altitude that would break the carbon line. However, they suffered a problem after about 20 seconds of flight and lost the rocket. Today, the European student altitude record remains at the 31 kilometers set by the Heroes 3 rocket. However, this may not be for long. DARE is added again with their Stratos 4 design. This rocket is planned to break 31 kilometers and may even be expected to break 60 kilometers. They intend to launch this rocket in October 15th of 2021, which is only a few days away. So look forward to exciting new details on their potentially new record-breaking performance. In addition, there are other groups that are coming up that are looking to break altitude records in the European community. One particular group of interest is Astra, the group that I'm a member of. We're coming out of Bremen and we're looking to challenge the Kármán line ourselves. Our planned launch date so far is in 2023 and we will also be utilizing a hybrid rocket design as all the others in Europe have been to date. Now, expanding our horizons a bit to the worldwide community, there are some interesting groups to talk about there as well. One group of interest was the Embry-Riddle Future Space Engineers Group, coming from Embry-Riddle University. They built a rocket called the Icarus, which utilized a unique two-stage design. This means that there was actually two rockets inside one. The way this works is that the first rocket fires, and then once it has finished all of its fuel, it detaches and the second rocket is able to start from that location, giving it a little bit of an extra boost. This rocket design is quite common in the professional community, but tends to be more complicated and is not typically utilized in the amateur community. However, with this unique design, they are able to utilize just solid rockets and get to an altitude of about 80 kilometers. 
This was the world altitude record for students in 2007 when they successfully launched this Icarus rocket. Moving forward to 2019, a USC team was actually able to break the Kármán line barrier of 100 kilometers. Their rocket, the Traveler 4, was a solid rocket, single stage, and it managed to reach uh, 103 kilometers, breaking the world student amateur rocketry record. However, there's some uncertainty about the final altitude achieved of plus or minus 5 kilometers, which means that we're not 100% sure that it actually broke the 100 kilometer Kármán line. So which group will definitively break the Kármán line once and for all? Will it be DARE with their Stratos 4 rocket? Will it be High End with their future plans to build a Kármán line breaking rocket? Or could it be Astra, the group that I'm a part of? Follow us to stay tuned with the action, and remember to keep expanding your horizons.